Mr. Xylitol, you made great progress last session. Let's review your resolutions from our last visit. Won't you please? Okay, one. Well, I like the idea of my happy place. I need to focus on that more often. And I guess, two, I resolved to stop focusing on all the other sweeteners. With their fancy... Yeah, that one's harder for me. It's just, I'm the real deal. I'm supposed to be the famous one. How vivid is your happy place? Describe it to me. Right, well, the world needs me. The dental world needs me. I'm unique. I'm natural. I'm like sugar, only better. I actually fight tooth decay. Seriously. I come in candy. Sweet. I'm huge in Europe. So, my happy place is out there. You know, spreading the word. Doing talk shows and conference keynotes. Attending book signings. Having my own logo and mascot in schools. I see xylitol action figures and product placements. Pew! Boom! Bacteria eradicated. Area secure. In my own cartoon. Awesome. Except fluoride and all the synthetic sweeteners have all the fame. Xylitol, you, not them, you are parents and dentists' secret weapon. Remember, we are talking about your strengths, what makes you happiest, where you feel abundant, powerful, capable, appreciated. Where is that? Well... When I'm helping moms and kids with runaway cavities, I'm totally in the zone. I mean, sugar and I look and taste the same, but we have the exact opposite process in your mouth. For anyone, not just kids. Sugar feeds bacteria, causes acid, lowers pH, and demineralizes teeth. But I don't feed bacteria. I don't cause acid. I actually raise pH and aid tooth remineralization. I'm low on the glycemic index, meaning I'm great for diabetics. You can cook with me. But really, what could be easier than feeding candy? I mean, real beneficial candy, to kids. But nobody cares. Fine. Let them drink their energy drinks till their teeth fall out. See if I care. But you care, Xylitol, don't you? Yeah, I know, I do. But it's like they don't trust me or something. Why would someone not trust you? I don't know. Well, I kind of do. It's my name. Your name? Perception is reality, right? So it's people's perceptions of me that are holding me back. I've been thinking about my image and how nobody likes me. Well, people who know me like me. A lot. But I mean, likes like me. You know, like likes and shares like me. I need an image consultant. A total superstar makeover. It's, it's the X. I mean, how can you trust somebody whose name starts with an X? Hmm. The X. I see. I've known it for a while. I'm no little baby sugar beet. I've been in the sweetening game a long time. I've been substituting for sugar in Finland since World War II. The other sweeteners have fancy names. I guess I need a stage name. All the heavy hitter stars have them. I've been thinking my real name is real lame. Interesting. Go on. When Sweet and Low and Sugar Twin aren't out saving the world, they're just plain old, old school saccharin. But who's going to want to camp out for tickets to see Asasulfame Potassium? Yeah, right. But name her Sunet or Sweet One, and everybody all of a sudden can't get enough. Everybody loves NutraSweet and Splenda. Talk about trust. They aren't zero calories, like they say. Maybe in a test tube, but all bulked up? It's deceptive. Some stars make the X work. That old school video game, Exevious? Professor X and the X-Men? Or Xena, Warrior Princess? Xena, Warrior Princess. Sure. So, how will a new name help you, Mr. Xylitol? It's not just the X, though. Xylitol, ethanol, alcohol. I mean, I am a sugar alcohol. That's what I am. I'm not ashamed or anything. It's just, I've been wearing a lab coat, talking about five carbon atoms and five hydroxyl groups, and the differences between me and other dietary polyols and hexospace structures. 
everyone looks at me like I'm from the planet GMO or something. I just need a reboot. Then I'll be the booth to beat at the farmer's market. What's the strategy then, with your new stage name? How about Xyli? Yeah, no. Well, I like just switching from X to Z. I don't want to shift too far, you know. I thought, Zalicious, or Zuger, or Zoltar. But then it came to me. Zai. Zai. Yeah, man. Wait, it's better. Two Zs at the front, and a silent PH at the end. Zai. Yeah, man. I'm going to be the hottest thing since sunburn. Welcome back, Mr. Zai. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to go with Zai. In fact, I changed my mind. I got to be me. Xylitol. That's what I am. I'm all about the X. Hmm. What made you change your mind? The new shtick didn't go over so well. They saw me coming a mile away. Actually, they were all up in my grill about how I'm harmful to dogs. And although I originally was made out of birch wood all organic-like back in the day. They were not impressed. I'm often made with corn cobs from ethanol production, which, of course, are GMO. And what did you say to that? The issue is with dogs, not me. Dogs are harmed by all sorts of great foods. As far as GMOs are concerned, I said, I agree. You agree? How so? Well, I'd rather not be sourced from GMO and other cheap, toxic byproducts. We have to support those businesses who are adhering to the standards we want. Vote with your dollars, you know. You can easily find me from non-GMO sources. I shouldn't have tried to be like those artificial sweetener celebrities in the tabloids. I should have known better. You know what? My science speaks for itself. The truth is, Anyone seriously looking for ways to thwart tooth decay will be at my door. They can look at the Belize studies with Dr. Mackinnon or the mother transmission studies from Dr. Eva Soderling. In fact, Dr. Catherine Hayes from Harvard published a review of my benefits. She stated, it would be unethical to deprive subjects of my potential benefits. So, Mr. Xylitol then. Yep, that's me. Starts with an X xylitol. It's all good. <laughs> 